guys welcome back to the channel I wanted to show you this wall art that I'm making for a client just in case you are looking for more wall art ideas so I went to Ikea and I purchased three large frames I believe these are 24 by 35 and 3 fourths you could pretty much use any frame size for this project I started by pulling up all the tabs on the back of the frame then I remove all the contents if you have a frame like mine, you will also need to remove the film on the back and front of the acrylic protector. Once that was removed, I placed the border back in and set it aside. Next, I grabbed one yard of cotton fabric and I used an iron to get rid of any wrinkles that were there. Then I opened it up, cut it in half, and placed one of the pieces on top of the backboard. Next, I stapled the fabric to all sides of the board. Then I took the acrylic black paint and added a small amount of white paint in there to lighten the color up. Next I took a roller and a floral stencil that I purchased and I stenciled dark gray flowers on the fabric. You could skip this step and find paper or fabric that already has a pattern on it. It's completely up to you. You can also use old bed sheets for this as well. Here's how it looked afterwards. It was okay that the pattern didn't come out perfect. Um, this is just gonna be the background. So if you do try this project, don't worry about it. Once the paint dried and it really didn't take that long, maybe about 15 minutes, I placed the backboard back inside the frame and then secured it by pressing down the tabs on the back. Next, I took a pack of mirrored cardboard and cut out a flower design using my Cricut. I love this machine so much, you can do so many things with it. If you would like to have the same flower design with the same size that I use in my project, you can download it off of my website. Just click the link in the description box below. Now I know a lot of you may not have a Cricut. If you don't, you can also download the image from my site, print it out, and then you could just cut the flower out, place it on top of the mirrored cardboard, trace around it using the image as a template and cut it out. But the Cricut makes it a lot easier. Once the design is cut out, I removed the part of the paper that I wasn't using. Then I rolled up a piece of tape and I placed it on the back of each piece. Next, I place each piece on top of the frame. Later on, I decided to make two additional flower cutouts and place them on there as well. And then I adjusted some of the pieces. Here's how it turned out. I made three pieces of wall art in just a few hours. I love how unique and interesting they came out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it very helpful. Thanks guys for watching. Have a great week.